Hey guys, I'm LB, and it looks like we are going to play Chrysotile by Demon Arisen. Cave Johnson here. Due to the numerous minor complaints and or violent death threats we received about the use of trace amounts of liquid asbestos solution in our excursion funnels, the funnel in this next test is made using a completely different material the lab boys are calling chrysotile. Now I know what you're thinking, Cave, are you sure chrysotile isn't just a type of asbestos? And to that I say, well, it might be, but I've got a note here from the lab boys saying this new type of asbestos is 100% guaranteed cancer-free. Wait, did I say cancer-free? I meant free cancer. Point is, it's free, and free is good. Cave Johnson, we're done here. Difficulty medium-ish, although I find it hard to judge how hard my own tests are. Tell me in the comments. Music, Portal Stories Mill, Scototropism by Harry Culligan, Harry101 UK. Ah, uh, good old Portal Stories 1, I mean, uh, Portal Stories 1. No, Portal Stories Mill music. <laughs> Portal Stories 1 would be Portal 1. Ah. Uh. Good old blue screen of death screen. All right, let's see here. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Looks like this is our end goal. Wow, there is a lot of white surface in here. Looks like we can easily, you know, funnel ourselves up with the cube and get to the exit, so don't need to worry too much about that, I don't think. Oh, this is alarming. Once we go on here, there's no getting out. And also, you can tell this is made in B-Mod, because of how slippery these grating is. And, uh, yeah, that's also B-Mod right there, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go ahead and save and continue. What was that? Was that a turret? Oh no, that was a button pedestal. A pedestal button, I mean. Not a button pedestal. Pedestal button. Oh, what is with this little... edge thingy? Okay, that lets us get back up. Yep, alright. There's also a room there, and a room here. And what else? Ooh. Looks like we can just barely fit through there if we... If we, um, momentum ourselves, is what I'm trying to say. That turns that off. Alright, well what's... what's up here? Oh wait, also... Which character are we? Hey! We're actually playing as Chell! Cool. So now, whenever I get the joke about Chell being fat, I'll actually be playing as Chell, instead of Bindi. Oh my gosh! There's a lot of rooms in this test! Alright, well here's the chrysotile funnel. Huh. Alright, first order of business. Let's get ourselves into the chrysotile funnel. And then, let's see what's over there. Looks like a companion cube that might actually be required for once. Seems it is. Alright. So now that we have that, where do we want to go? Interesting. How are we going to keep this funnel. How do we even get out of here? I guess I should have gone with the cube. See, so let's let's actually go with the cube this time. Put that there, and yeah, good enough. Oh wait, that was a bad idea, because now I can't actually aim this where I wanted to. Hmm. 
I don't think I've heard the funnel version of this song either, by the way. So this is cool. I have a feeling that this diagonal is intentionally designed to make it hard to see that. How do we get out of here? <laughs> That, like, even if we were in the funnel, we wouldn't be able to... There's nothing over here that'll push us out. <laughs> How do I get out? I am... I am confused. I am not good when it comes to crystal tile funnels. I am genuinely confused. I... I don't know what to do. What? I hope I wasn't supposed to, like, do something else first. Oh, there it is. Like, am I some kind of idiot? How do I get out of here? I don't see a way out. There's no portal surfaces that I can fire from this angle. Yeah, I can't aim over there. I can't actually be in the funnel. I can't be in here at all. I don't see a way to make that happen. I- it- I don't- I literally believe it is impossible for me to be... there. In this funnel, in this spot here. Let's go back up here real quick. Let me just- let me just think about things for a moment. This doesn't really let me see anything else. Oh, I can see those portable surfaces, I guess. Is this really what I gotta do? Alright, I guess that's really what I have to do. Alright, so I can shoot a portal out there now. But... How would I keep the funnel? Maybe I don't really need to right now. Okay, so now we're in here. And... Oh, let's just- let's just abandon our portals, I suppose. Alright, so we've done that. I don't really think we needed to, though. What if... I do this... 
There we go. Now we just gotta fix this orientation. Perfect. I will leave you right there for now. Oh. I think I see what I can do. Alright, let's put a portal up there. Actually, no, uh... Put that guy up there. Walk all the way over here. Do this. Save. Yes, here we go. This'll work. So now that we have this guy... Do we have to swap the cube? Like, do I have to get this cube into there? I need to get the funnel out. How would I get the funnel out, though? I'll put that there for now. Put this up here. I don't think we- I don't think we need to go... Get up there, please, thank you. I don't think we need to go into this area anymore, because we have both cubes now. Now we just gotta figure out wh which cubes do we wanna get in which places. I suppose now with this cube here... We can aim at that now. So that's something at least, right? Hmm. I wonder how the angles work out. I think out. that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I forgot anyway, that- Anyway, here's a new cube for you to project your deranged loneliness onto. I forgot that GLaDOS dialogue was enabled. Alright, let's get up there again. Using the crystal tile funnel. Oh, whoops. Wrong key. <laughs> I was trying to speed things up, not slow them down. Alright. Gimme. Thank you. So now... Think about this. We can see that, right? Right, but... Not from here. The angle does not work out. Interesting. How high is this funnel? I need to get up there and look around again, because I don't remember the geometry of that area. Ah, uh, yeah, that- that foils my plan. Like, if this was portalable, I could easily do this. But no, it's this area that we want to have access to. If I could place a portal up here, that would be amazing. As it stands... The angles don't work out for that to happen. Wait a second! Uh... 
What's the best way to do this? Yeah, I think we're done, actually. Let's just take this with us. How is this oriented? Uh, we'll fix it when we get up top. Doesn't really matter too much right now. I'll just put it there for now. Actually, I can fix it right now, because this is its final destination. Oh my gosh, I need to finish the crouching animation first. Thank you! Yeah. <laughs> once you- once you actually finish the crouching animation, it becomes much easier to tilt cubes. Alright, here we go. Here we go! That's how you do it. Ironically, the hardest part of the test was the first part. At least for me, anyway. Just getting the companion cube out of that room was the hardest thing for me ever, and the rest of this is really easy. Alright, so now, we just do this. Yep. Well, guys, as always, the global average. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!